Hey there, welcome to, or welcome back to No Pants Profits. It is 10 a.m. in the morning, the last full day of my cruise. I won a massive jackpot in the casino at 3 a.m. And I'm up for you because we're gonna make pasta. I got a hangover, I got a lot of money and a piece of paper in my bag. It's, it's not dead presidents yet, but it will be banded dead presidents soon. But we are going to the Carnival Kitchen today. Now I've already been to the Carnival Kitchen for a pizza making class and a tailgating class, but I said, why not the pasta? That's the one you talk like this and pretend you're under MSSC. Yeah. But they, they do have an Italian restaurant here too. But I've never made pasta from scratch before. I've never made pizza sauce from scratch before till the pizza class. Never made pretzels. No, I've made pretzels before. Um, never made uh, empanadas before before the tailgating class but today we're going to make pasta i don't know much about the pasta we're going to make but going to make it at the carnival kitchen right here i think it's about a 40 dollars class uh, that you sign up for i signed up long before the cruise so i don't remember so i want you to join along as we make a, some pasta and uh, we'll see ya how that goes uh, and i'm a masaria if uh, that's a racist uh, the way i'm saying the italian uh, but uh, I'm not fully awake yet. It's 10 a.m. and I was gambling till four. See you there. So before I start, I just tell you what's gonna happen in this class. In this class, you're gonna make your own pasta from the scratch. There will be no very many clothes for you. So a lot of hard work coming your way and then you have to make your own sauce from the scratch again. Clear? Excited? Yes. <laughs> So that's the energy I want, right? So uh, again, uh, the class, before the class starts, I need to tell you the rules paid by the CDC and US page health guidelines, not by her, not by him, not by you. But the first rule is whatever you make here, it's for your tasting purpose only. You cannot take anything out of these doors because after the pandemic, these rules have set in and we have to abide by it. Clear? Yes. Second rule is once you start walking in this walking session of us, first you have to wash your hands. For that we have three hand wash, one is on my right, one is behind this figure and one is just behind me. So the other three hand wash, you have to wash your hands, then you have to wear your aprons and once you are done with the cooking, you throw your aprons, you can come back here and you can finish your pasta with your eyes closed. <laughs> and the third rule is that we are here for fun. As our tag says, come to teach you fun with cooking. So please have fun. Singing, shouting, dancing, booing, all allowed. But you have to hear to my instructions sometimes so we can make something nice, right? <laughs> yes? So, how many of you are here alone or in threes, fives, odd numbers? Threes, alone. Right, why I'm saying this because we have uh, nine stations and each station has walking force to hold two persons per table. So, we have to divide with two per table. Okay? So, for that, Hazel is expert in that. So, Hazel will come along. Please grab one sheet of paper for two persons and that's how we divide it. Here, chefs. So, please help so we've got a lot of stuff on our station today uh well, it looks like we've got pots pans and some medieval torture device which i assume this medieval torture device is for uh making pasta <laughs> and we've got a screen we've got a pasta bowl i have a feeling we're gonna get very very dirty here today so i'm gonna get my apron on and we are gonna get cooking or pasta making i think so chefs, are we all ready? Yes. Thumbs up means yes, I can take it in advantage because he knows all the rules. So, thumbs up means yes, thumbs up means no. This is just a dance move, not accepted. <laughs> right? I am going to understand what you say if you do like this, right? So, before I start, I'll just tell you what is in front of you. So, you have a utensils container. If you need one, please use one. Then, you have two glass bottles. Please be very careful when you are handling them. In this class, you will be using both of the glass bottles. The green one is for your olive oil, and the white one is for your cooking white wine. Right? It's for cooking purpose. Then, you have a salt container, a chili place. Salt, yes, you will be using it, but chili place, I'm not sure how many of you are using it, but it is still there. Then, you have a clear container with some spoons and forks in it. You will be using them for mixing, tasting, 
scraping purpose and once you are done everything comes here into this trash bag. Clear? Yes. 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 So and then then you have one target in front of you that is quite a lengthy for the shelves who can be can't see me from behind the pillars. From there, from that side, I know this is a still a small class, but still if you can see me, you can see me through the tablets. See here? Oh. That tablet has one screen in it. Please do not follow the screen, the screen can go again. So I will after the class, Hazel will give you a sheet of paper. Please write your email addresses privately so I can send the recipes across. So this class is not by hunting anything. Only you know taking down everything, only enjoy it and have fun. Yes, yes? Yes. yes. All of you? Yes. yes. Alright, so let's start with some more introduction so you get a bit clear what is here. You have a black induction top with two sets of pans one stainless steel pan and one a pot. If you tell me how to switch it on, you will have two black knobs or two black guides or two regulators, whatever you call it, not below the induction but below the tabletop. Can you please check it for me? There are two black guides just below the tabletop. Do you see it? Done? So one is on your left hand, one is on your right hand. Sorry? Is there? Yeah, it should be there. That one is on your left hand, one is on your right hand. The left is for the induction which is close to you, and the right is for the induction which is far away from you. Yes. Yeah. So when I tell you to switch on to the desired level, you will turn it on and you will see the display on top here, not at the bottom. Yes, yes. yes Any yes. questions so far? No. Nothing? Right. Then you have one big bowl, one big mixer. Measuring spoons, measuring cups, or two water in it. So you will be using them for mixing and perhaps uh, everything will be told to you. Then you have your magic creator in front of you, which is your pasta machine. You saw that? Yes. These ingredients which are lined up for you, we will try to start from our right hand side and we will start trying to go towards our left hand. So I will try my best to follow that. A uh, sequence so you don't get confused. Enough of talking, chefs. Now let's start the class. <laughs> right? So I would request you to grab this big mixing bowl, all of you. Big black bowl of flour. So you take the entire bowl of flour and you add it to your mixing bowl. Then the next thing you will take in is your salt container, and you will take a pinch of salt, just a pinch of salt, and you add it to your flour. Just a pinch, not too much. If you have added too much, you can show it in your guys, but it's okay. Not like this. Not like this. But you can do that. Now, two things I've added, right? Yes. So if you tell me this is one and a half cup of flour, so this is for two persons. But in your house, when I send the recipe, if you check, you will see that will be for four persons, so that will be for three cups. Here. So next you see there is a egg container, right? I mean egg bowl. It has two whole eggs and a half of egg yolk. As for the recipe, they are dividing the recipe. But in your house when you see the recipe, it will be five eggs, which will be for three cups of blood. Here. So this is half for you two, so that why we divided the recipe into half, so it is two and a half. But do not throw the eggs, half egg like we do. In your house, if you use two and a half eggs, please take some extra flour in this basic, right? So you can use three eggs. So for this, take this 
two and a half egg and then take a fork just beat it lightly beat it lightly and add it to your flour throw your fork away Now, 
Turn your left hand knob to number 10 please and you'll see the display on top. So turn your left hand knob to the number 10 and the display will be on top of the instruction and I said this induction was super hard needed, so it will always be try to push your hands here, there. So please make sure whenever you are using this induction your pants or watch are in the center of the ring. Clear? The first thing I will take is and I will add to the uh, not, uh, to the stainless steel pan with this olive oil. So you take your olive oil container and drizzle approximately one tablespoon of olive oil. You don't have to be very measureful, you don't have to measure anything. You just drizzle approximately one tablespoon of olive oil. Then can you tell me what is this? This is Ventura. This is smoked, cooked, cured. So you don't have to cook it too much. We just lightly saute the pans and we'll take it out again into the same cup. Dear chefs, so for that, first grab this uh, rubber spatula from your container. Drop it, drop all the pans in again. Do not give this stuff to my friends. So just Lightly chop it so you can see the flavor of the olive oil and pancera coming up. Lightly chop it, stir it. One fourth cup full of white wine and add it to your 
And chef, what did we do just now? What did we do just now? One quarter turn of the bottom into your pan. And then we have this deglazed the pan and we have added some acid in the pan. So we have deglazed the pan. So chef, I was a bit fast this time because or else your onion and garlic will have burned. So this is a time when I have to be fast guys, I can go slow, right? So now, so now after your wine is in, you will take all your pan and you will drop it to your pan as well. So take all your pan chillers, drop it. So whenever you are thinking that any meat, you can do this step. But if you are making anything like veggie pasta or pasta with shit, you can saute it, keep it separate, but do not add this time. We are only on meats goes in, but vegetables and shit goes after. I'll tell you when, when we touch the pasta in. Yes, yes? Yes, yes. Yes? Yes, Now, the next thing you will take is you will take this tomato sauce, fresh tomato sauce, and you will add it to your pan. Take your tomato sauce, add it to your pan. Chefs, in your recipes, do not get scared. It will be written Captain Secret Sauce, which is not a secret. I'll tell you how it is done. It is not a secret. You just add your tomato sauce, mix it nicely. Then, can you tell me what is this? Pasta hey. water. No. <laughs> Any other Chicken broth? Yes. Can on, so this chicken, chicken broth, this chicken broth, so add the entire bit of chicken broth to your pan. Mix it nicely. Mix it very nicely. Chefs, you are left with one. Add all of the chicken stock and so we have added olive oil. We have made olive oil hot, then we have added onion. onions, garlic, garlic, garlic tomato, chain tomatoes, tomatoes, chicken stock, and tomatoes. Here, so step by step, I have added everything. Now, can you tell me? Now we take this. Uh, Measuring spoon, and we will take the smallest measuring spoon, which is one by four teaspoon of our of a spoon. Do you see that? One by four teaspoon, the smallest one, and we will take one by four teaspoon of salt, and we will add it to your sauce. Only one by four teaspoon, the smallest spoon. Here, only one spoon goes in. Now you can throw away your spoon, you don't need it anymore. Mix the sauce nicely. Chef, all I'm doing is cooking this in a moderate heat. Chef, in your house you can start in a moderate heat. And you can see this sauce has a lot of water because we have added chicken stock, we have added tomato, tomato will release water. Onions are using water, so this is not very atmosphere. You will not get any taste. So how you will understand this is ready when this sauce is a bit dry and you see the oil, every oil floating on top. You see bubbles of oil. That means at that time it is ready. So for that, if you keep this at this heat, for sure it will burn. So what we gonna do in our house, we will we'll put it down and we will simmer the sauce, right? So in this case, we we'll put it down or turn it down to number 5. Here yeah, from 10, it goes to number 5. Yes, yeah, yes, am I clear to everyone? So, for sauce to get ready, we need to cook it slowly. The jelly will have to get cooked slowly, then the oil will come out. Yes or no? Understood? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bless you. Now, you will keep your spatula in here. Your rubber spatula stays inside because my friend will come once in a while, he will serve it, and you can just forget about that because you've got a lot of things to do, right? So, what you're gonna do is you will take your bowl in front of you, you will take your dough cutter, and you will not 
cut this dough equally into half, but a part should be more and a part should be less. How I'll show you. So like, just like this. This is only for basic purpose, but in your house you will cut it exactly half. You will take two doughs, but here you can take one big, one small. The smaller one you can just throw it off. You are not using it, but the big one you will take in your hand. Did you guys? Smaller one, throw it out. Bigger part you can take in your hand. Take out the bigger part, smaller one. In your house, do not do like that. In your house, cut it into exact half, and then you do it. Can you okay now? Can you okay now? Yes. So now you take your flour, dust it on the table. Take your flour, dust it on the table. Keep the flattest part of your dough on the table like this. Keep your flattest part of your dough on the table like this. Just drop it. Then just drop it in. Just drop it on the table. Yes. Okay. Just drop it on the table. Just keep it on the table. Yes. Now you take your dough cutter again and you cut this into equal half again, as much as possible. So now I have two halves. Here. Yes. Yes, sir. So now I have two halves. Again, turn it this way and place the platter side on the table again. And before we start anything, before we concentrate on that, I want you to take hold of this spot. All of you take hold of this spot. Place it on your table. Turn your tap around. Turn your tap around and fill water to half of the pot. Half water with pot. Pot has half water. So just a half of the pot with water. Half. Place it back to the same induction. Place it back to the same induction. Make sure it is in the center of the rim, and then, and then you will turn your right hand now to number fifteen. Your right hand now to number fifteen. So your left hand is at number five. Keep 
rectangle, yes. You don't have to make it too much flat. Yes, okay. Okay, yes. Both of them? Both of them? Both of them? That's okay. No, it's for the past. Yeah. So you have to do this also? Seven, four, one. 
that first? Question for your chef. What's the last one for? That is for the noodles. Oh, like longer. Oh, like spaghetti. Spaghetti yeah. noodles. No, it's not that. Angel hair. Yes. Okay. So just create your pasta in the bit. Oh, that's why. Okay. 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 So you can have some flour. Oh, more flour? Yeah. So chefs, and they have yeah, like you just oh, then you can you see they all brown? Some pasta in that should be Oh, so you want to separate? Yeah. Because if you boil, okay. Yes. I was wondering why you're playing. All of them together. Oh, there's no matter. What? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jess. How's the meat, Jess? Okay. You have to add a more flour to that. Yeah. Yeah. So how's the pasta? Great. Great. Awesome. Yes. I need my consumption now. Everybody done? Yes. Yes. I just wait for her to finish. So now you just stir in your sauce a bit, and you can see your sauce has no waters left, right? It is bubbling. The all the waters have dried up. Everything is incorporated inside. So this is the time you can say your sauce is ready. Done. Now, all of you will take your pastas like this, if possible, all at one time, with two hands like this. And then this is still a boiling water, be careful. Just spread it like this. Be a magician. All the pastas goes in. Like this. Just be a magician, drop it slowly. All of it goes in at one time. Do not touch it with any spoon, any fork. Just drop it in. Just drop it in, all of them. Try to just play with it, just drop it as well. Just drop it all, in, all of it in. Do not touch with anything. This is a fresh pasta. Done? Done. Easy? Easy. Now let's make your sauce ready. Right? Yeah. So for that, you have this green colored pesto in front of you. Add all of your pesto in. Drop in your pesto. Stir it nicely. Mix it nicely. Pesto sauce. Just mix it nicely. So in that sauce becomes one color. Not green on one side, not red on the other. So mix it nicely. Then your last cup has Two things inside. One is your basil, the other one is your chopped parsley, right? So again, taking your basil in your hand, remember the first you get the most and again get it or wait for it. So just tear the basil leaves, drop it in your sauce, tear your basil leaves, drop it in your sauce. Tear your basil leaves. Make sure you have some tear it up. Drop it in and then you will drop in your chopped Italian parsley as well. Mix it nicely. Mix it nicely. And then you will take a spoon from your clear container. Both of you will take a spoon from your clear container. And please take the sauce for me. Please take your sauce.
we have added something as much of salt, right? If you want to add something at this time, you can go ahead to the chili flavor. But overall, how is it? Thank you so much. Now, the sauce is ready, right? Now it's time for you to take this dog in your hand. It opens something like this. Just push it. And then just check any one piece of pasta for me. Just take it out. You can just eat it. You can break it. You can keep it on the table. Press it and you see it is done. The choice is yours. How you want to test? This is a fresh pasta. This does not need 10 minutes, 7 minutes. This comes in very fast. Just break it for me. Just end it. Yes. And you see your pasta is ready. Done? Yes. Yes. So switch off your water on the pasta. Switch it off. Chef, this is a tongue where you have this covered water. So do not take in like this. Your water will come and might burn your hand. So always take it out like this. Drain the water and drop. The pasta to your sauce. Oh. All of them comes out. All of the pasta, just drain it like this. Do not drain it like this, or else the water will come down to your wrist. Then just take out the pasta. Now stir in the pasta, or just mix the pasta the way you want. You just stir in the pasta or stir in the pasta or mix the sauce, whichever way you want to do. Then you can throw away your, you can throw away your uh, spatula. Done? After your pasta is mixed nicely with the sauce, you will take this again and you will just divide this pasta into two equal parts into the two bowls my friend has given to you be generous to the partner beside you be generous to the partner or the chef beside you switch off the water switch off the sauce switch off the pasta sauce or switch off the pasta then my last instruction, believe me, I will not talk further. My last instruction is, yes, please give me, let me thy ears and thy eyes. You have this micro thing written on your utensil side, right? Yes. These are very sharp. Be very careful when you are using it. You might slip your fingers, which is very sharp. So you take your cheese, parmesan cheese, and you will grate it like this. This is good enough for two portions, and then you will just tap it like this also. You don't tap it with your fingers. Just keep watching me once. Grate it like this. Tap it with the cheese itself. Do not, do not do it with your fingers. It is very sharp. Be very careful, right? I don't want any accidents to happen. Then you are done. You can switch off your inductions. And how does the pasta look? Yes, so chef now you can remove
remove your aprons, you can take a glass of water, you can take your pasta, you can sit down there and with your eyes closed, you have to take your pasta. Okay? So please sit down there and enjoy the pasta. Thank you so much. Can you do the black class too? Yes. Yeah, we're, we're back we're doing we're back that. Back too. <laughs> what? Hi. Hi. Pie and what kind of pie? It's an apple pie. I'm the one who's going to make your own apple pie. And we can't take it out? No, but I will take it for you and you get it in your state room. Oh, okay. Oh. Right. So, chefs, how's the pasta? Good? Easy? Yeah. Easy to make? Yes, very good. Any questions for me? Anything? So, the water, was it like, uh, or not the water? 10 is like medium, and then 5 is medium low? Yes. Okay. So that in, in your houses, I know when you get the recipes, it will be written as pomodorini cans. So pomodorini cans are very good for this sauces. Like you can take the pomodorini cans, you can unfold it, add some water, add a dash of basil leaves, some garlic, cook it with water, and add some sugar, and you will have a sauce ready. Right? The email list? Yes. Oh, only one that you can buy have anything. Right? So share that. That's spatulized for your remembrance and one for spiking purpose. So use it wisely, right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you chefs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that pasta class, that's my last class at Carnival Kitchen you'll see right there. That was a good time. The, the magic moment is when you kind of take all the stuff together. You take those long sheets, cut, and then you put it in that machine, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, it's pasta. It's like a magic trick. Uh, I, look, fat guy likes pasta. Fat guy's never made pasta before. I really, really liked Carnival Kitchen. Um, pizza class, because eh, I've made pizza before. Uh, I've made some of the stuff that's in the... Uh, tailgating class before but the pasta class was was kind of sort of magical so i highly oh god i said the tailgating one was the best i said pasta's the best then tailgating then pizza if you haven't seen the others they'll be at the end of this video i love this if i, I was telling someone if i ever come back to sea in my previous life i actually taught technology on cruise ships uh if i ever come back to sea i was talking to the chef they need more people to do this i might uh be a uh, be a be a chef, yeah. Be a chef in the carnival kitchen. This is Richard from No Pants Profits coming to you from the carnival celebration right after the pasta class in the carnival kitchen, reminding you that when you wear no pants, there's only one thing you got left to lose, and that is your shirt. Bon appetit. Enjoy your day, and maybe you learn something about pasta here. Have a great one. Bye.